the T2. We'd like to congratulate Todd. Todd was the feature winner last Sunday night up at the East Moline Speedway. So Todd's 1-0 for the season, and we want to wish him the best of luck tonight. How about giving a big hand to Todd? Right behind Todd, the old man of the Peoria Speedway. He's giving me a dirty look. John Smith in the 44. Got Rockies as a new sponsor this year. John's been around a long time. Yeah, you can clap for John. Go right ahead. You got a lot of fans up there. Right behind John, brand new number 112 of Robert Trump with Rockies on the side. And boy, I'll tell you what, Wednesday night out here at practice, it was a fast one. Fast time, huh, Robert? The other night? <laughs> He's just laughing down here. Right behind him, Toby Sharp. This guy is going to do double duty here at the Peoria Speedway this year. Driving the number three in the late model division and the open wheel model division. Good luck to you, Toby. Got the late model here tonight? No, it's not here tonight. Later on. And then back here, right behind Toby, Jason Plummer in the 6T, but you don't have a T on there, do you? Strictly 6? Just for today at 6. Okay, you'll have the 6T on there. Jason with the Eddie Strickland race car. The ship, and I'm cutting out for some reason. How about giving all these guys a great big old hand? Congratulations, guys, on your sponsorship. And now you need to go over here to the front straight away. This guy's been around for a long, long time. If you want to turn around here, Jim, so everybody can see you. They've seen you enough over the years, huh? This is Jim Stubbe. Jim is officially our first inductee into the Peoria Old Timers Racing Club Hall of Fame. Jim turned around once, and Jim got him a brand new jacket that says the Peoria Old Timers Racing Club on it. Hey, you feel like a model, then you're doing a good job there, Jim. Okay, now you can turn back and eat cold down here. We're all cold. Okay, he's going to unfasten his jacket here a little bit. Oh, hey, and look at this. A brand new shirt, Peoria Old Timers Racing Club Hall of Fame, 1997. And then look here, Jim Struby, first inductee. That's pretty sharp there, Jim. That's from all your friends at the Peoria Old Timers Racing Club. And if you turn right around here, Jim, we've got a special presentation here. This plaque here is to honor Jim Struby as the very first inductee in the Hall of Fame, the Peoria Old Timers Racing Club. Hold that right up there, Jim, and show everybody. How about a great big hand for Jim Struby? There's going to be about 30 other drivers that will be inducted into the Hall of Fame next season, which will be our 50th year of the Peoria Speedway. And Jim, not only do we honor you as a first inductee, right over here, I'm going to step in front of you here. Jody Benninger is helping us out here. Each and every year right here at the Speedway, here comes a little Larry out here. Each and every year here at the Peoria Speedway, our Old Timers Racing Club presents a special award and it reads for your dedication and contributions to stock car racing and for your unselfishness in helping your fellow stock car racers. Over the past eight years, we have given the award. The very first one went to the late Ed Bowen, um, Bobby Merritt, Herb Shannon, Lemmy Van Landingham, Billy Neal, Robert Crump, Jim this year. Jody, you can present that to him. The Honorable Speedway presentation from the Joy Old Timers Racing Club goes to none other than Jim Struby. How about a big hand for Jim? That's for all the years you've helped everybody else. Not only did he race himself, but he just helped everybody. And Jody, and look at this. This is just like the Olympics. We've even got a medal here. And everybody's going to get one of these medals next year to the Peoria Old Timers Racing Club Hall of Fame. First inductee, Jim Struby, 1997. Jody, if you want to hang that around Jim's neck there. Jim's been our friend, will always be our friend, and one of the greatest stock car drivers ever to drive at the Peoria Speedway, Jim Stubbe. How about a big hand for Jim, everybody? And we're going to put Jim up in the pace car during our parade lap and our national anthem, along with Cheryl. And while we got everybody out here now, we got to introduce little Larry down here, Larry Reader Jr., down there. He also has the Rocky sponsorship, six of the cars that are sponsored by Rocky. And Larry's in the late model division this year, and keep your eye on him because he's going to be hot. How about give Larry a hand down there? He deserves it. Now, something we got to do, Alice, 
wait a minute, Alex, before you start your car up there a little bit. Okay. And something that is very hard to do here at the Peoria Speedway, and last year we went through it a lot, but um, if you'll all look right up there at David's flag stand, you'll see the number 6H and 3M. Guys, if you would just kind of hold it up down here, we want to quiet, please. Last year, after racing was over, we lost our good friend J.R. McMahill in an auto accident. And then just right after that, we lost our little buddy, John Hamilton, to leukemia. And um, it's hard. It's hard for Chuck and Sherry. All winter long, we understand that. And it's hard for all of us here at the Peoria Speedway. But uh, Chuck and Sherry are going to move on here at the Peoria Speedway and prevent auto racing every week for us. And they're doing a darn good job right now. Later on this season, on Friday night, June the 1st, excuse me, that's Friday night, June the 7th, we are going to honor J.R. McMahill with the first annual J.R. McMahill Memorial Race. And that's on Friday night, June the 7th. And then coming up a little later in the season, on Wednesday night, August the 21st, we will honor... Jonathan Hamilton with the first annual John Hamilton Memorial Bush Tour Race right here at the Peoria Speedway. That'll be a first, and that's going to be a big one. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people here from Daytona Beach with NASCAR. The NASCAR big wigs who are, are going to come up here, and uh, all of the uh, mayors and everybody like we did last year for Jonathan's birthday. They're all going to be out here to honor Jonathan. Uh, St. James is going to be out here to help us out that night. And uh, it's just going to be one of the biggest races we ever had. And that's coming up here at the Speedway on Wednesday night, August the 21st, the first annual John Hamilton Memorial Bush Tour event. You see the sign up there on the judges stand? That's to honor those guys. We wouldn't forget them in any way, but we want that sign up there and We'll think about them every day, and we know they're up there watching the races tonight. And um, right now, let's just have a minute of silence for both of our good friends that we lost. And then we're going to move on to our 1996 racing season here at the Peoria Speedway. Over in turn number three, the yellow light out. We look for that green flag. And we got a jumper right here. <laughs> Five laps of distance, he race number one in our brand new bomber division. This one's gonna grow and grow this year. It'll end up being a big division. Second position, the double 
control of Don Sullivan. And this time, as he heads out of turn number four, the checker flag ball for Brad Hoagland. in the fourth position, the 37M of Alan Mon in the third spot, the 36S of John Stuckey in the runner-up position, the double zero of Don Sullivan. Hey, this is a brand new division. We can tell the guy didn't even stop to get his picture taken. <laughs> anyway, how about a great big win for Brad Hoagland, a brand new driver right here at the Peoria Speedway. Our next event, he was number one in our street stock division. Starting on the front row of pole position, driving car number 48 is Amy Halpin. On the outside of row number one, driving car number seven is Dave Zwett. Row number two on the inside, driving car number 36 is Eddie Fisher. On the outside of row number two, driving car number 75 is Dave Turbot. And starting in that last position, driving car number 22 is Chuck Barnes Jr. He raced number one here on Rocky's Night at Peoria Speedway. Amy Halpin and Dave West up there in row number one. Once again, we look for that green flag out of turn number four. Thank you. 
the third spot, the car 48 of Amy Halpin in the runner-up position, the 75 of Dave Turbett. And your winner of Sweet Stocky Race number one, driving car number 22, sponsored by the Rocket Tire Service. As he climbs out of his car, or stays in his car, I guess, how about a great big hand for Chuck Barnes, Jr.? Our next event, he raced number two in our street stock division, also seven laps in distance. Starting on the front row full position, driving car number 68 is Wally Zander. On the outside of row number one, driving car number 15 is Marty Shetler. Row number two on the inside, driving car 12 is Chris Hanley. On the outside of row number two in the row four is Roger Delap. And starting in that last position, driving car number three is Jim Dillon. Marty Shetler, and your winner of heat race number two in our street stock division, 
driving car number 104 from Metamore, Illinois, sponsored by Rankin Stein's 104 Tap. Dry County Services and Grab Their Motors. About a great big hand for Roger D. Lapp. Our next event, he raced number one in our sportsman division, 10 laps in distance. Starting on the front row pole position, driving car number 22 is Bobby Cow. On the outside of row number one, driving car number seven is Kevin Wood. Row number two on the inside in the 9W is Brad Willis. On the outside of row number two in the 32T is Tony Fisher. Bobby Cowell up there in row number one, right beside him, Kevin Wood. In the seven, Brad Willis, Tony Fisher right behind him, the yellow light out. And the green flag falls as they hit out of turn number four. Kevin Wood out in that number one position as they head down the front straightaway. position, the 9W of Brad Willis, in the third spot, the 22 of Bobby Cowell, in the runner-up position, the 7 of Kevin Wood. And your winner of E-Race number one in our sportsman division. Illinois, driving car number 32T. And 
he takes off his helmet and drops that window net. How about a great big hand for Tony Fisher? Our next event, he weighs number two in our sportsman division. Starting on the front row pole position, driving car number 711 is Russell Spicer. On the outside of row number one, driving car number 82 is Stanley Musgrave. Row number two on the inside, driving car number 58 is Daryl Rose. On the outside of row number two, driving car number 52 is Doug Nichols. Driving car number 21J is James Mennell. He race number two in our sportsman division, 10 laps in distance. Russell Spicer, Stanley Musgrave up there in row number one. Look for that green flag as they head out of turn number four. the 7-Eleven of Russell Spicer. In the third spot, the 21-J of James Mennell. In the runner-up position, the 82 of Stanley Musgrave. And your winner of E-Race number two in our sportsman division, driving car number 52, sponsored by Auto Glass Center in my near alignment service. As he takes off his helmet and his racing gloves, And now our open wheel modified division, a big field of open wheel modifieds with us tonight here on opening night. Rocky's night right here at the Peoria Speedway. He raced number one, 10 laps in distance. 
Starting on the front row pole position, driving car number 30 is Rob Palman. On the outside of row number one, driving car number 40B is Mike Whitledge. Row number two on the inside, driving car number four is Chuck Hodgkin. On the outside of row number two, driving car number three is Toby Sharp. Row number three on the inside, driving car number 55 is Darren Pennycup. On the outside of row three in the 23T is Billy Tuckrow. Row number four on the inside in the 55T is Keith Pennycup. On the outside of row number four, driving car number 72 is Rich Lewis. Row number five on the inside, driving car 33 is Robbie Robbins. On the outside of row number five, in the 6B is Jason Plummer. in their proper positions, the yellow light is out over in turn three. Once again, we're going to put that green flag out of turn number four. Rob Bowman is coming out into that number one position for the start. And that second car right behind him, the 55 of turn three. Rob Bowman is
fourth position in 23P of Billy Tuckwell in the third spot, the 55 of Darren Pennycup. In the runner up position, the car three of Toby Sharp. And your winner of E Race number one in our open wheel modified division. Driving car number 30R, sponsored by MW Contractors. And the Butcher Block meets over in Fairview, Illinois. Driving car number 30, a great big hand for Rob Salmon.
the fourth position, the 40 of Jerry Woolen in the third spot, the two of Rick O'Brien. In the runner-up position, the 112 of Robert Crump. And your winner of P-Race number two in our open-wheel modified division, driving car number 50, sponsored by the Johannes Bus Service, J&J Camper Sales, and Rogers Fabrications. race number one in our late model division. Starting on the front row pole position, driving car number 55 is Ronnie McMahill. On the outside of row number one, driving car number 65 is Jerry Reader. Row number two, on the inside, driving car number 75 is Bob Dominic. On the outside of row number two, driving car number two is Dan Bennett. Row number three on the inside. Driving car number 64 is Gary Cook. On the outside of row number three in the 84 is Don Bolander. Row number four on the inside in the 18K is Eric Cashagro. On the outside of row number four in the 25 is Steve Lance Jr. Row number five on the inside. Driving car number 23 is yes, Donnie Schickel. And starting in that last position, driving car number 11 is John Patterson. Ronnie McMahill, Jerry Leader up there in row number one, Bob Dominic, Dan Bennett, row two, Gary Kirk, John Bolander in row number three, Gary Cashigro, Steve Lance Jr. in row number four, and John Patterson starting back in row number five.
25 of Steve Lance Jr. in the third spot, the 65 of Jerry Reeder in the runner-up position, the 55 of Ronnie McMahill.
Okay, everybody, let's everybody stand up. This will be our first bomber feature event of the season. Let's everybody stand up and wave. Let's do a wave to all of our drivers. Way out there, go right on out there. Yeah, way out there, right out there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there's good enough. This is Kim, or this is, yeah, this ain't Kim. Kim Palanza, the owner of Rockies. This is Cheryl and Deb out here. If you've been to Rockies, you know the girls. They're gonna stand out there and wish good luck to all of our bomber drivers. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe what they say up here on the judges' stand <laughs> when the microphone's off. <laughs> Thank you, girls. You get to do that four more times tonight. Deb and Cheryl will be giving away our trophies, courtesy of Rockies on Farmington Road, to all of our feature winners. And the yellow light out over in turn number three. We look for that green flag as they head out of turn number four, ten laps in distance.
hey, we need the 44 car over here, don't we? And we're waiting on the 44 car, Brad Hoagland, down here in Winter Circle. We got Cheryl and Deb representing Rocky with that really beautiful plaque. <laughs> you can tell he's never won before. <laughs> well, he's never won before. He didn't know where to go. The winner of our 10 lap bomber feature event, driving car number 44. David's down there trying to explain what you do after you win a race. <laughs> well, let's see, he's taking his gloves off and now we're going for the helmet.
Finishing in the sixth position, the car three of Jim Dillon. In the fifth spot, the 68 of Wally Zander. In the fourth position, the 15 of Marty Shetler. In the third spot, the 22 of Chuck Barnes, Jr. In the number two position, the 75 of Dave Turbett. And apparently a problem with the 104 of Roger D. Lapp after winning the feature event. Anyway, how about a great big hand for Roger D. Lapp, the winner of our 12 lap street stock feature event. Okay, everybody, let's stand up one more time for our sportsman feature event. Let's salute all of our sportsman drivers. <laughs> and we're stopping them. <laughs> Somebody apparently out of place down there in turn number four. We'll line them up correctly. Down the front straightaway. Our salute to all of our sportsman feature drivers right here on Rocky Side at the Peoria Speedway. Tony Fisher on his top over there in turn number two. And we're checking with our officials to see if everybody's all right over there. As soon as we find out, we'll let you know. Three official laps complete. Twelve laps remaining in our sportsman feature event here on Rocky's Night. And we do have the sign, he is out of the car and everything is all right. How about a big hand for Tony Fisher? Stan, get yourself a good hot sandwich, a hot cup of coffee, or an ice cold Pepsi Cola. Right next door, our Peoria Speedway beer tent with ice cold Budweiser and Miller products. Don't forget, next Saturday night, right here at the Peoria Speedway, in our 49th season of stock car racing, gates open at 5, racing at 6.30. It's Budweiser poster schedule night next Saturday night. Don't forget to mark down on your calendar, Friday night, April the 26th, the UMP Lake Models, right here at the Peoria Speedway. 
Judy is going to be down at Rockies after the races. So come on down if you haven't seen Jim for a while. Come on down to Rockies and congratulate Jim on his inductee into the Old Timers Racing Hall of Fame. Jim will be there after the races tonight. Thanks, Cheryl, for coming down. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.
flag out for the car 6C of Jason Plummer. That car is spinning and stopping down into number four. Twelve official laps complete. Eight laps remaining. Toby Sharp, your leader. Right behind him, Rick O'Brien in that number two position. Brent Pryor in that third spot. Snap-on tools, Gary Sharp, your dealer. 
and Harmon's Auto Parts, the Born Paint Company, and Paul's Pipe Shop. How about a great big hand for Toby Sharp? Cothran in that third spot, Larry Reeder Jr. in that fourth position, Don Bolander in that fifth spot, Tom Bennett in the sixth position.
Team Bar is spinning down in turn number four, bringing out the yellow flag. Well, in just three short laps, we'll have our 1996 Rocky season opener feature winner in our late model division. Once again, the yellow light out of our turn number three, 27 official laps, complete three laps in the 10th position, the 65 of Jerry Reeder, in the 9th spot, the 34 of Mike Mudd, in the 8th position, the 75 of Bob Dominic, in the 7th spot, the 84, Don Bolander, in the 6th position, the car 7, Mike Cothran, in the 5th spot, the S10, Frank Schickel Jr., in the 4th position, the 25 of Steve Lance Jr., in the 3rd spot, the T2 of John Bennett, in the number 2 position, the 65 R of Larry Reeder Jr.